A boy being treated for a crippling disease is now an honorary Fortville police officer. As News 8's Travis Robinson reports, he got the honor because he and his siblings have been helping raise funds so that police dogs can get bulletproof vests. Caleb Anderson loves dogs, and it seems like dogs love Caleb too. So when he got a chance to learn about the work they do as police officers, he and his family jumped. We were invited to go to uh, the canine convention in Connecticut. But when he found out they didn't always get bulletproof vests, it sparked something for him and his siblings. You know, on the ride home, I was like, hey, what's, what's going on? And they're like, we're just really upset by what we heard. And I was like, okay. And they're like, we have to provide vests for these dogs. They're like, if officers need them, dogs need them. So they've helped a couple dozen dogs get the protection they need through selling T-shirts. But you might be able to tell from the mask Caleb is wearing that he needs his own protection as well. There's no lining inside of his nose. And so for you and I, if a germ comes in, we have protection. We have different things in our body that keeps those germs out. For him, he doesn't. So it will go right into his system, and that's when he gets sick. All while Caleb's been fighting his own battle, heading to Boston every few weeks for surgery, he's been worried about the battle man's best friend is fighting. It's so important that we give back. You know, it helps us take our focus off of what's going on in our life. And through his willingness to help protect others like Fortville's first and only canine dog, it makes him a perfect candidate to be an honorary Fortville police officer. We uh, made him an honorary uh, member of our department today and presented him with his own badge and uh, a plaque and uh, hopefully he knows that we're here for him, you know, that he doesn't have to go this, this battle alone. But Caleb hopes one day, even with his condition, that he'll be able to become more than just an honorary officer and join the ranks as a canine officer. You know, he's gonna, gonna grow up to be a fine young man, I'm sure, and if he meets the requirements, then why not? There you know, will probably be some departments that look at what he's gone through and say, you know, you, it, it may not be good for you to do this career, but I know my son, this is what he wants to do. The kids have stopped fundraising t-shirt orders right now, but there will be more available in the future and we'll keep you posted when those do become available.